Okay, here's one visitor that you definitely don't want to see this weekend. Animal encounters in the valley are not unusual, but some are certainly scarier than others. And there's one man in the valley who can tell you that firsthand after a mountain lion kept creeping into his backyard. Here's Team 12's Michael Dowden with the story. Pictures show it all. It was startling and exciting at the same time. John Welch's grapefruit tree providing a dining den for a mountain lion. That's the closest I've ever come to that dangerous an animal. The first images of the big cat are from early Monday morning captured by John's trail camera. He went out Monday evening to prep his camera for yet another round of pictures when he saw a silhouette staring at him from across the yard. And I see these two yellow, look like flashlights. So John made the safe choice and ran back inside, avoiding his rare dinner guest. Even people who spend a lifetime in the outdoors, like hike the length of the Pacific Crest Trail and never see a mountain lion. Josh Rousneau is with the Mountain Lion Foundation. He says the mountain lions normally wouldn't go near humans, but likely saw John's yard as a safe place to rest and hide food. So a nice bush that, that gives them cover seems like a great place. Rousneau says despite the reputation of being predators, mountain lions at their core don't want to fight especially not with humans. They don't see people as food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they see people as threats. But they they yeah. basically want an excuse to run away. So this week, John Welch removed the remains of the coyote, and since then, the mountain lion hasn't returned. But from now on, he will be watching to see if that big cat returns. Believe me, I, when I open the door now at night or early in the morning, you're going to get the newspaper. Uh, I'm watching. John Welch says it's a moment he will never forget. He does have those photos that will last a lifetime. Also, the Mountain Lion Foundation says that this may start to happen more and more frequently as more people move into mountain lion territory. We're Mesa, Michael Downer, 12 News.